Hey guys, it's me, the MC360 Gene here. Coming back at you with another YouTube video. I was about to say Let's Play, but this isn't a Let's Play. I said it in the last episode, too. <laughs> um, in this episode, guys, sorry that it's a uh, portrait. Like, landscape is, like, you know, you, you'll be seeing this as, like, a straight screen, and there'll be, the, like, the black to the side if you're watching this in a landscape. Sorry about that, but my app, the app that I'm going to be using to predict the... T the Barclays Premier League, or it's not even called the Barclays Premier League anymore, isn't it? It's like the English, the, let's just say the Premier League. We're going to be doing our predictions for week 21 for the Premier League. Week 21 doesn't happen until like January like 14th is the first day, I think. But J the week 20 already started, so we'll be doing week 21. So yeah, I get the app that I use also by the name of um also by the name of crowd scores here is uh it's only a portrait it's not landscape so yeah what happened to today's matches wow huh oh said he did win that game too bad for arsenal <laughs> okay so we're gonna be skipping ahead to the 14th which is our first game and guys, since I'm an Arsenal fan, I have Arsenal already favorited. But yeah, guys, today we're going to do our predictions. So our first prediction will be for Arsenal versus Swansea. I think that, like, this this record's been, like, up and down. Arsenal have actually lost more to Swansea. But I think that with our good, you know, with the good squad we already have, I think we could come out with an Arsenal win here. And I am predicting a 1-2 Arsenal win. I'm just going to type it in in all my things. I'm probably going to get to comments saying you suck at predicting. Because I do suck at predicting. But yeah, guys. My prediction, 1-2 Arsenal. Next, Tottenham versus West Brom. I think... I'm pretty sure Tottenham are going to win this game. I mean, look at that, 80% to 14. I think Tottenham are going to win. And I think it's going to be a 3-1 Spurs win. And, yeah. So, possibly, possibly. It could be, like, maybe 2-1 only. But 3-1 is is my best what I got so next game is Burnley against Southampton now I had to do like Burnley are in 11th and then Southampton are in 10th so they're both doing all right not not the best middle table and I just noticed now West Brom are in 8th and Bournemouth are in 9th that's actually pretty good so I think a Southampton win, and I think this would be a, one minute, I'm just looking at my, I have these all written down, I think it's going to be a nil one for Southampton, Southampton, yeah, there, that worked, I think, oh my god, there's someone who thinks a 4 nil win for Southampton, I'm at least being fair. Okay, so after Burnley versus Southampton, we have Hull City versus Bournemouth. And Bournemouth, like, even though their record isn't that good, uh, isn't the, doesn't look the best. As I said, they're ninth. Hull are in a relegation zone at 19th. So I think a Bournemouth win, their last game was a 6-1 win for Bournemouth. That's really good. I think Bournemouth are going to win by two goals, meaning it's a a nil two win for Bournemouth. Yep. I swear I probably spelt it wrong, but who cares? It was the autocorrect that I just used. So after Hull City versus Bournemouth, we have Sunderland versus Stoke. And what can I say? I don't really know. Sunderland sitting near the bottom of the table in 18th. Well, actually in relegation zone. 
and Stoke are in 15th, so they're both not doing that good at all. But I do know Stoke have a thing for winning. <laughs> so I think it will be a 1-3 win for Stoke, if not a it, it maybe even just a 2-2 two -two draw, because Jermaine Defoe is really good. And yeah, so... After that, we're going to go down to Watford versus Middlesbrough, I think, is next, because I've already done the Swansea. So, in Watford versus Middlesbrough, they are both, aren't they, aren't they both sitting, they're both sitting in an alright position from what I did, because I didn't, this game was so close that I didn't even know what to do. See, a 38% Middlesbrough, 38% draw. 38% Watford, so what I did is I already clicked draw, because I think, I think it will be a, what did I write down here? I wrote down a 1-1 one, one result, because I honestly don't know the players that either team has. I think Middlesbrough have Negredo up top, I don't know if Negredo's, um, that, like, that good or not. I honestly don't know. But next... We have West Ham United versus Crystal Palace. And what I did for this one is West Ham and Palace are both there, but West Ham aren't having the best of seasons. I was thinking probably a draw would suit them both best. And what I was doing was a 2-2 two -two draw because West Ham, I mean... They, they're starting to lose against even the teams that aren't that good. I mean, I think they beat Leicester. Or did Leicester beat them? I honestly don't know. Oh, whoops, I forgot. Leicester City versus Chelsea is under here. And I was going to go with a Chelsea win. It's probably... What I'm doing is a 1-4 Chelsea win. That's really big. But... I think Chelsea have what it takes to win by really big margins now. And coming to the game the day after that, I don't think there's any, there's no 16th. Um, the other games are Everton versus City and Manchester versus, Manchester United versus Liverpool. What I did for this one is I put a Man City win, and I think it will be 0-2 to City. Because City are probably, like, here it's it's so much, like, 2-0 City there, 1-1, one, 3-1, one, one, I don't know if they're saying Everton are going to win, 2-0 to City, 2-2, two, two, it's like everywhere, it's like, some people are saying, saying United, City are going to win, some people are saying Everton's going to win, I think it's going to be City, and yeah. Next, we have Manchester United versus Liverpool, this one took me the longest time to do, like, United are on a... Five game win streak, probably more. Liverpool are a four game win streak. But honestly, you look at their last two results, they're a draw. If I say Liverpool, last time I said Liverpool were going to win, they they completely flopped. Manchester United are also not, like, they were, they're having, like, both teams. They're so close to. Wait, Liverpool are on second? <laughs> okay, never mind. But United and Liverpool, I thought they're both. They're both really good, but I think a draw is probably going to suit them the best. I put a nice 2-2 two -two draw. I think Ibra, Ibra and Mkhitaryan, if they play him, are going to try getting some goals. And I think Coutinho could sneak up. He's already, didn't he score, I don't know if he scored a hat-trick against Arsenal in that first game or not, but... Yeah, guys, that is our predictions for week 21 of the Bar... Not Barclays Premier League, the Premier League. So, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like if you like these predictions. If you have any other predictions, make sure to put them in the comment section below. And, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!